On the surface, Vega is an unassuming four-planet system orbiting a G-type main-sequence star. Once seen as a potential centerpiece for rapid human expansion that might someday compete with the likes of Earth and Terra, Vega has suffered as it has found itself on the front lines of the Vandal conflict. Discovered in 2402, the system was first settled seven years later. Two planets in the Green Zone, Aramis and Selene, were quickly terraformed. The system's population expanded, constructed cities, mined the asteroid field, and Selene gained its first UEE representative in rapid succession. That growth ceased with the fall of Armitage in the late 27th century. Suddenly finding themselves on a front line and fearing an organised, ongoing Vandal campaign, the system's population decreased suddenly as those with the means to do so retreated to inner worlds. Real estate prices plummeted to almost nothing, and the tenor of the system's populace that stayed changed overnight. In the blink of an eye, the most profitable work on Vega became figuring out how to leave it. On the 5th of October 2945, a large Vandal clan led by a kingship jumped to the Vega system and attacked the planet Aramis. After a desperate battle against overwhelming forces, the UEE Navy's second fleet, commanded by Admiral Ernst Bishop, managed to turn the tide with the destruction of the kingship and drove the Vandal survivors out of the system. The attack elevated concern about the Vandal threat and led to a military action to reclaim human systems lost to the Vandal. This marked the first time in history that human forces destroyed a Vandal kingship. While native Vegans consider themselves to be on the front line of the war effort, few in the military do. With the existing infrastructure and the connection directly to the homeworlds, an assignment to Vega feels nothing like being forward deployed elsewhere. Vega 1 is a dwarf planet located close to the system's star. No attempt at habitation has ever been made, and no interesting resources have ever been discovered. A single unmanned probe was all it took for geologists to discount the planet as a potential source of commerce or science. Truly stunning for an inhabited world, Aramis is orbited by a set of planetary rings that contain a number of small shepherd moons. The planet's biosphere, while adapted for human comfort in the terraformation process, evolved naturally and gave rise to a significant amount of flora and fauna which still survive. Aramis was the second planet settled in the Vega system. For most of its life, Vega II existed as home for a series of naval and other military bases, as well as a popular location for shore leave. The planet plays host to significant bases for all three services, including one of the oldest army facilities, Camp Mannheim. That dynamic has changed in recent years. Aramis has benefited the most from the recent population boom, resulting in several small cities of note and the development of much farmland. The city of New Corvo was initially settled by members of the UEE military. After being named a planet to watch by the new United News Org, it has since become Aramis's most populous urban centre. Most spacecraft entering and leaving Aramis first pass through New Corvo to be processed. The city has been noted for its vibrant art and culinary scenes, Though it was devastated in a 2945 Vandal attack, New Corvo is on the path to recovery and is currently experiencing a boom in population growth and in construction noted for its architectural experimentation. Selene is the heart of the Vega system, though many suspect it will not hold that title for long. Although its population is down significantly from the system's heyday, it still maintains a population an order of magnitude above other border worlds. Selene is properly represented in the UEE Senate, with a seat considered significantly influential. The largest city and main landout is Titus, a sprawling megalopolis that seems to dream of former glories. While the city centre is quite developed, a rusting sprawl of construction projects enacted but never completed rings the cityscape. Of late, these have been purchased by outside interests in the hopes of revitalising the region, the success or failure of that initiative is yet to be determined. One particular segment of the population is of interest, the descendants of survivors from the Orion system. 
generally living far away from civilization and with little to their names. These groups frequently band together to support harrowing vengeance strikes into Vandal space. These missions pay little and are extremely dangerous, but are considered particularly satisfying accomplishments for true mercenary dogfighters. Beyond Selene lies the dense Vega Belt Alpha. Officially owned by the UEE government, the belt is not patrolled and has been heavily mined. Independent contractors without mining claims of their own often frequent the region. While it lacks particularly valuable minerals, it is considered something of a training run for aspiring miners. The final world in the system, Vega 4, is a standard gas giant. A massive, dense, reddish-brown world, Vega 4 will never compete with the likes of Jupiter or Rita 5 for beauty. What it does provide is a reasonable stopover for those seeking to fuel larger spacecraft. Independently owned refineries dot the planet's orbit, and the outer layer of hydrogen is generally pure enough for individual sampling. Don't let the local attitude fool you. Vega is on the front line. Vandal travelling parties have been known to transit the system, and travelling beyond Vega will place civilians in imminent danger of encountering raiders. I love NordVPN. I use NordVPN. I get money when you guys buy NordVPN. So use the links below, check out NordVPN, see if it's something that you actually want to get. NordVPN.com slash boardgamer. If you get it, I get money. Every month we have a ship giveaway and for June we are giving away a Freelancer Miss, which is a fantastic little multi-crew missile boat. We're also bundling this with a Pulse, the little tiny bike with the big laser on it. You'll get lifetime insurance on both of those and a Star Citizen game package. So all you need to play Star Citizen, all you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that is comment on any of my videos made during June. Good luck to you. Also, if you want to further support the channel, please consider clicking the join button under my videos. It really does help. There's also Patreon on loads of affiliate links and stuff like that down below in the video description and in the comments. So check those out and that helps the channel out too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great June. Thank you for watching to the end and don't forget to click all the things down below or at least the things you want to click on.